one of my favorite events across the valley that happens every year. A lot of people are waking up with a lot less hair this morning because they're making the choice to shave it off for cancer research. And guess what? We still have time, or you still have time. I could probably still have time to join them too. Absolutely. <laughs> Michael Savage here, as well as Arturo, both with nine fine Irishmen over at New York, New York. Good morning, you guys. Good morning, Leslie. Thanks I for having us. I love this event. And the way New York, New York does it is huge. Let's mm -hmm. talk about this. Next week, you guys are doing a huge event for St. Baldrick's. Huge event, excuse me, um, at Nine Fine Irishmen at New York, New York Hotel and Casino, right next to the iconic Brooklyn Bridge outside on our patio. Uh, lots of celebrity guests come to do shaving. Uh, Terry Fader is going to be there. The Chippendales will be there. The guys from Magic Mike. Um, Sounds like a lot of fun. Lo lots, of people, <laughs> Already. lots of people are going to be there to shave some heads. Um, it's for a worthy cause. Uh, Defeating childhood cancer, that's what St. Baldrick's is all about. Mm -hmm. uh, finding cures uh, for the disease um, is their uh, utmost concern. Uh, last year we raised over $200,000. Wow. And this year uh, we're looking to surpass that goal as well. Definitely. St. Baldrick's yeah. has a couple different events and uh, some passed yesterday. So, But mm -hmm. we still have so much more time Absolutely. to raise money come this yeah. weekend. Go ahead and just talk about what this means for New York, New York and Fine Nine Irishmen. Uh, not nine fine Irishmen. Nine fine. Nine I'm like fine, fine nine. <laughs> That's all good. Um, um, it's a wonderful event. Um, getting everybody out. Uh, it's a family event, family orientated. Uh, mm -hmm. Kids can come out. Uh, we'll have uh, face painting, uh, balloon twists out there on the bridge as well. Um, and we get to feature all of our, our all of our yeah. food. People can stop by Nine Fine Irishmen and have a great time. And let's talk about some of this food. Arturo, yeah. you you brought in some amazing looking dishes and I know you're gonna make one of them for us but before you do that what is this over here I know it's this a chicken is a curry dish. chicken oh it smells so good I could yeah. smell it from my desk oh really yeah. yes yeah. I could <laughs> I knew there was curry in here somewhere yeah, it's um, delicious. go ahead and tell us what you're gonna make though I'm gonna make the corned beef nachos okay it's pretty simple we have the homemade potato chips mm -hmm. with some uh, beer Ooh. cheese sauce that looks good oh yeah <laughs> he's pouring it it's what 8, 19 a.m. and these nachos are looking <laughs> so good. It's not too early yes. for nachos. And then we okay, have the corned beef over here. Uh -huh. <laughs> Absolutely. Of course, corned beef being yes. traditionally Irish to the yes. Irish culture. We also sell this with steak, chicken, mm -hmm. plain, if you don't like corned beef or steak. Why don't I try it with corned beef, right? If mm -hmm. you're going to a predominantly Irish yeah. restaurant, you might as well do it. Absolutely. One of the most popular dishes, would you say? Uh, without question, mm -hmm. our, our number one appetizer seller is our Irish nachos. Mm -hmm. um, but. Uh, uh, the, the choice of whether it's uh, with meat, without meat, corned yeah, beef, chicken, or shaved steak. And he's topping it off with a little chive aioli right here. So. Ooh, that yeah. looks really yeah. good. It I is. might have it to is. try some in just a bit. But yeah. uh, go ahead and just tell us just how big this event is. I mean, you guys bring out so many people. It, I, I remember seeing pictures um, and stuff last year. Everybody that buys into the event, um, all the time that is volunteered mm -hmm. by all the celebrities throughout Las Vegas, um, it really gives us... Um, added exposure, mm -hmm. but it's really for giving back to the kids yeah. and the community is and the, quite an experience to see. Yeah, absolutely. But I'll be lo I'll be losing my locks again this Saturday. Really? So, yeah. When did you lose them last? Last year on St. Wow. Baldrick's. Wow. So it does grow back. It Impressive. takes about three months. Yeah. <laughs> well, New York, New yeah. York Hotel and Casino's 8th Annual St. Baldrick's Day event is this Saturday coming up, March 11th. They host it from 9 a.m. to 10 p.m. So huge block of time there that you can go down and possibly shave your head. Obviously, celebrity head shavers yeah. going to be a great event. Thank you both for coming by. Thank you so much. Uh, good luck. Yeah. <laughs> No luck Stay needed. Stay with us, you guys. Thank you so much. <laughs>